Hey, Janaris, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Well. Good. Hey, um, we saw your tweet the other day um, about your family getting to move back into your your rebuilt home. Um, are you guys in it yet? When will you be in it? And uh, you know how special is this? I know it's taking a long time, but how special is it to have that um, opportunity again? I don't think we currently been in the um was able to move into the house. I think on a bye week, but um, now we just now like just getting things situated with getting furniture and stuff. So we just wanted to wait to. You know, the house was pretty nice, so we could put out a, a nice story for everybody that, you know, contributed to the uh, GoFundMe so they can see, you know, the money did go to good use and, and all of it went to the house. Thank you, Kurt Weiler from Democrat. I guess, I mean, what's the, uh, the, the last month been like just in terms of going through that process, how long that's been and kind of seeing the end of that or a major milestone in that? And I mean, potentially playing your uh, your final F game home game this weekend. Um, back to the house, just, you know, just being happy for my mother who's been, you know, not really living in a stable condition for two years. Just her being able to go back home to somewhere that she can call home. And her, have, her have her own house, you know, I'm just happy for that. And um, the season, um, we just been focused on, you know, just working in and out. We can't control if the game gets canceled. You know, we, we have practice uh, those two weeks that the games got canceled. And, you know, we, it really wasn't no off time or whatever like that. So I think we were pretty much prepared. Thank you. Have one more chance. Canaris, uh, Coach Norvell, I guess, said, you know, that last week, last Tuesday, kind of maybe marked a kind of a turning point in the way you guys have been attacking practice. There's been more enthusiasm, just – kind of asked Ham so why he thinks that is. He, he said, you know, a little bit of it's because there's smaller numbers and you guys have all kind of made your mind up to, to go out there and do your best. I mean, for you, does it feel like this is kind of like the like a, a last, last call? I mean, you got two more games left to kind of make your mark. And uh, Coach has said he's seen you, you know, practice more consistent than you ever have. Uh, you know, is that pretty accurate? I mean, we got two more games left. Uh, you can't take these days for granted, you know. Uh, it's very fragile. The last two games got counseling, you know. Who knows what the future holds? So each and every day, it's a blessing we got on the field. You know, I'm just trying to be more consistent, and, and it starts in practice. So I just start trying to stack days together. And um, the last week and a half, I feel like I've been, you know, stacking those days and you know getting better as a player all around. Uh, looking at Duke, you know, one of the problems they've had on offense is they've had a, a lot of turnovers. Um, when you when you go up against a team like that, are you looking for more? to seize on that or, or is every game different? I mean, we want to uh, get turnovers every game, you know, more important than this game, we want to get some, because, you know, like you said, that team, you know, turns the ball over a lot. So this week we've been emphasizing, you know, breaking at the ball and trying to, uh, you know, pick balls and, you know, get cause turnovers in practice and eventually that'll turn over to the game. Um, I think yesterday or the day before we had 15 turn turnovers, uh, takeaways in uh, practice, you know, so we just trying to build consistently uh, throughout the week on that. And hopefully, like I said, it'll run over into the game. Uh, I'm sure I know a lot of guys I've talked to have kind of said that the decision of coming back using that extra year or not is not something they're kind of kind of make now until probably after the season. But I mean, I guess with with that in mind, I guess was there a moment of fear for you of maybe not getting that senior day until you kind of found out for sure there was going to be another home game rescheduled? I mean, of course, uh, like I said, every um, senior here on the team looks forward to that, that senior day, whether they know if they come back or not. That's just a special opportunity that we have to walk across that field with our family. And um, to not know if we were going to actually have that, it, it kind of was heartbreaking to a lot of uh, seniors. And now we get that opportunity, so we're just trying to make the best of that opportunity. We have a game this week and a game next week. And uh, we're just looking forward to those two games. Is, is feedback from the NFL Draft Advisory Board, is, is that like the single most important kind of factor into the, the math that you're going to use to figure out your future? Or what are some of the variables that are, are going to be the most important for you when you – uh, do you sit down and try to figure out your next move? I mean, right now, I'm, I'm not really focused on that. I'm focused on these next two games, uh, trying to finish this season out strong. And after the season, I'll, um, you know, I sit down and have some business talks and uh, talk some things over and um, eventually make a decision. Whether or not, you know, you're here or any of the other older players are here, do you feel like uh, that this has, this process has turned the last few weeks anyway? turned things in the right direction. Do you think that Florida State's heading right back in the right direction? 
course, I think Florida State is heading in the right direction. We have a, a, a good head coach, Coach Novell. We're surrounded by other coaches and support staff around here that's uh, you know, pushing us every day to, to go in the right direction. I feel very confident that this thing will get turned around uh, pretty quick. All right. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate it.